Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. I'm mashing those blueberries we took out yesterday. This is part two of blueberry syrup. I want you to mash them as much as you can, get as much juice out of them, and that's what I'm doing now. I can actually show you what I'm doing. Frozen is much easier to work with. Us strawberries were very hard to work with. And they say frozen will give you a uh, better flavor. I already have my jars and stuff getting hot. This is going to be a water bath. I think I have to the temperature at uh, a different temperature, so we have to be careful we can't bring it to a boil. We'll be holding the temperature at 200, so we'll have to be careful. heat stirring constantly and we're going to heat the blueberry mixture until the sugar is completely dissolved and then you're going to remove it from the heat and we're going to let it cool okay I don't know if I'm going to need this one. we'll find out so I'm going to be moving you around so you can sort of keep up with me on this one and that's all we want to do. We don't want to bring it to a boil. I think I really mashed these blueberries. Oh my god. So let me get them out. We're going to need this.
I'm just thinking of how I want to do this. I think I'm going to do it like I normally do it. Get my strainer out and get a towel. I have a big bowl and I have a strainer, so if I can be able to work it better, let me put this in the sink and get ready. Yes, I'm going to take one of my kitchen towels that I dry the dishes with, so you can see how this is done. So I'm just melting the sugar that was in here, and then I'm going to be over there. And blueberry splatter, so you have to be careful. blueberries on, all we were doing was making sure the sugar is dissolved and that's it and then we're going to strain this. Oh yeah, I know I'm going to make a mess. It's blueberries. And yes, I'm going to have a blue towel. <laughs> if not pink, one or the other, that's for sure. If you use cheesecloth to strain it, you're going to have to realize you're going to have to then strain it after the cheesecloth. You're going to have to strain it with coffee filters to make sure that you get rid of all the pulp. That's why I'm just using a towel. It doesn't matter. They want you to squeeze until you get all the juice up and the seeds. Well, not the seeds, 
You want to separate all the juice from the seeds in the pulp. Sorry about that. If you're going to use your towels, make sure you're doing wash the same day. of your syrups. Okay, what do you want me to do now? Should get about four cups. Okay, well we'll see. Not being exact. So Well, I got a little more than four cups. I don't think it's matter though. You say 
say about that we have to make somewhere in the vicinity of, right? Correct. Yep. When it's blueberries, you know you're going to get dirty. I don't want to Ooh, I did make, hold on a minute. Stephen, I, don't, I made a mess. Oh my, I was completing blueberries. Okay. Hold on one minute, I'll be right back. Okay, to this, we're going to add one and three-fourths cups of sugar. You know what? I've got to go get some more sugar. I will be right back. Okay, as we continue... Okay. Very specific. On a medium low heat, you're going to dissolve this sugar. They don't want the sugar to be uh, crystallizing in this. So on a medium high heat, we're going to do this. I spilled some sugar on the floor. I'm going to have to clean that up. Now, we, when we can this, we have to hold the temperature in the water bath at 200 degrees. We're not going to bring it to 220 and boil it like we normally do. So you all need a thermometer to do it, a candy thermometer to hold it at 200.
Once all the sugar is dissolved, we're going to turn this up to high, and we're going to bring it to a boil, and then we're going to turn it down. Don't hear the sugar at the bottom. Turn it up to medium high and then we're going to bring it to a boil. Let's see how hot this is. I have to hold this at 200. Okay, let's see where you're at. See, if you bring uh, syrups up to the 220 canning, what happens is, is they get cloudy. And what you want to do is keep the clarity of the juice is what you're working for. And I actually rusted out the bottom of my water bath canner, so I had to buy another one. I didn't believe it happened, but there was nothing but rust. I said, oh God, I get to see canning and everything comes through. Okay, once this comes to a boil, 
We're going to turn it down to simmer, and you are going to be simmering it for 20 minutes. Then they will be ready to be canned. Can you imagine how good this would be on uh, French toast or blueberry pancakes? It'd be quite nice. Now, see, I know canning. I'm canning, and you know you don't have to put preservatives in it and you use corn syrup and other stuff. Very easy to do. There's no excuse for these companies to sit there and be putting all these preservatives into our food. Now, if you have any foam on this, after we're getting ready to can, they say just scrape the foam off before you can it so you get that clarity that you're looking for. And this is taking too long and I'm going to need this thing enough. So let's sort of see. So I'll see you as soon as this comes to a boil, and then we'll turn it down together. Okay, it's boiling. Now we're going to turn it down to simmer. And just let it simmer for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes simmering. We've got to take it off the uh, burner. Syrup spread, and we've got to get the jar out. Just about We need a fourth of an inch head space. You're either going to get three or four pints, I'm not sure. You might only get two, I don't know. Tell you how much of a headspace, so it's 
pretty much you're going to have to decide for yourself. shy a bit, so I'm going to take some off one and put it to the other and see if I can sway this. If I cannot, wait a minute. I'm only going to get two, maybe two and a half. About two and a half is what you're going to get. So the half is going in the refrigerator. And when I make something, I will definitely be putting it in there. Something told me I should have used all eight pounds, but I didn't. I'll use the vinegar for the rims. Just be careful you don't you don't get it in to your soil. Just go careful. So I might buy some more blueberries so I can get more syrup. So if you have any film, foam, just clean it up as they take it off. When I said it, I didn't get it. Now because you're doing, I'm doing uh, pint jars. I can't even see where this is. It'll be 15 minutes water back. Can't even see where it's at here. We got so much steam here. Okay. This one's gonna go in the refrigerator for us. See I have part of one here, so this will go in the refrigerator for us. It doesn't quite make three. And you saw how hard I was squeezing those berries get them out. All that juice. So that's 15 minutes over the hour. Okay, so I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay, I'll show you it now. The berry syrup. So listen, you have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.